Coming in 2016, Lightning Rod, the world's first and fastest wooden launch coaster. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> Coming in 2024, Chain Rod. Listen, pal, at least it's open. Take it or leave it. Welcome to Dollywood. This is the last park on our epic 2024 road trip. And uh, I don't know if you can see it from back here, but Lightning Rod with the chain lift is my main goal. I want to see if it's any better. I just saw it go. The chain is pretty fast. Uh, I whipped out my camera trying to get a shot and uh, almost missed it because it was so fast. So um, hopefully it doesn't take too much away from the ride, but we'll find out. It is Saturday, it is absolutely packed with space in the parking lot. So uh, let's see what we can do. So this whole trip, we have really not had to deal with lines. Uh, the longest lines we've dealt with was at Knobles. Even that wasn't that bad. Um, but this is a Saturday. Last Saturday we were at American Dream. There was like no lines anywhere. But yeah, now we are at Dollywood on a Saturday, which is not a smart idea, just the way it goes. So I did break down. I got spooked by the parking lot and I did buy a uh, fast lane or the time saver. The uh, second best one that gets us one light on lightning rod, one on fire chaser and none on big bear. So we're going there first. Sophie is five credits away from five, uh, 500, no 300. Don't get ahead of myself here, 300. So we should easily be able to get that today. I'm thinking maybe number 500 could be Wild Eagle, but why do I keep saying 500? Because you need five coasters. I need to get my head on straight. Okay, Wild Eagle, probably the best option for number 300. What do you think, so? I don't know. She doesn't know anything. So walking to Wildwood Grove, you wouldn't believe that the parking lot was pretty much full when we got here, just based on the I think it's just the deadness of the back of the park. I'm guessing that everyone has already found their way to Wildwood Grove or Lightning Rod by now. Some rides and games here are free and require no wait. So, was that walk, walk long enough for you? No. I think that was the longest walk we ever had to a coaster. It wasn't that bad. Okay, that's good. Glad to hear it. Um, Big Bear Mountain. Actually, the, the time saver line actually looks longer than the real line, which is kind of strange. But uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too long. So let's uh, check out my one new credit for today. Well, we got on Big Bear. Sophie. Yep. Like it? Yes, that was smooth. It was nice. It was fast. I like the feeling. Yeah, onboard audio also? Yes. I yeah. wish it was a little bit longer because that was really fun. Yeah, it was still a very long ride though. Very long yeah. ride. Yeah, it's pretty long. Um, so in terms of forces, we pretty much had none. But that's okay because that's not what it's meant for. It's meant to be a very smooth, you know, touristic ride around Wildwood Grove. That's what it is. It's, it's a lot of fun. Like that is, uh, it's perfect for what it does. Is it gonna make my top 100? No. Sophie says it's better than Fury. Yes. But that's, that's her raking, it's not mine. <laughs> so she can do whatever she wants, I don't care. So that was the longest line of the day. It's the only line that we can't get past today. So, Sophie, yep. ready to brave the Dollywood crowd today? With our time saver. Not really. Well, we just completed the Vacoma Wildwood uh, Bifecta, I guess. Is that like a trifecta, but two? Wild Dragonflyer. Yes. The fun of this coaster. Yeah. I, I remember it being a fun little suspense coaster, not much, but that was really good. That was um, super intense. We got the back row, and, and uh, that the the forces down the drop and around the first turns like are crazy. It kind of tapers off at the end, but yeah, it was um, like it had all the forces that Big Bear is lacking. If you guys want forces in Wildwood Grove, 
Uh, even with Time Saver, that took about 15 minutes. So we'll see how the Time Saver works for the rest of the rides. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those things where like everyone has it, so it's going to be kind of you know, semi-useful. But uh, I think right now we're going to hit Mystery Mine while we're here. Give Sophie her number 297. And then um, hit Lightning Rod uh, right with the chain for the first time, which not a new credit. Sorry, guys. Ready for the mystery of Mystery Mine? No, you're scaring me. The first time I rode with my brother, I didn't tell him anything either, and it was a lot of fun for me, at least. All right, the park is filling up, and uh, Time Saver is going to help us on this one because Mystery Mine, as usual, the bad capacity, has a pretty long line. All right, here we are on the Time Saver line for Mystery Mine. I've officially scared the poop out of Sophie. She thinks there might be a drop track, a launch, or something hidden. I said had half this rise inside, half outside, so there's some little surprises, I think. Things that you might not see coming. Let's see, maybe I'm overhyping it. Maybe. We'll see. Let's, maybe. let's ride it, see what happens. Okay, here's the deal. We finish the first half, get stuck on the base of the second lift. The lights turn on and they announce they're gonna evac. So, as the credit judge, I declare, you get half a credit, that's what I say. Sophie, how did you enjoy credit number 297 and a half? That was quite the adventure. That was an adventure. My first mid-course evac. We always argue what happens when you get a need a credit and you get evac off the mid-course break run. In this case, right before, the, right before the final lift hill. And I would say, I don't think it counts as a credit, but when's that ever going to come up, right? Yeah. Well, it just did. So, uh, we will come back to that. We were on the break. We were on. We were stuck there for a good, I don't know, 20 minutes at least. But the good news is that they gave us a uh, card to get on another ride. So that works out to our advantage because we only have one time saver for lightning rod. Now we have two. So there you go. And uh, maybe we'll we'll hit uh, mystery mine as your 300th, just because uh, it's so memorable now. Yes. Sophie, it is time for chain rod. Let's see how this is. I'm so depressed I can't even blink. Alright Sophie, give it to me straight. I'm What's sorry, up? I'm sorry Lightning Rod, you were ruined by the evil creators of RMC. It was RMC's fault that they had to take away the launch? Yes. Okay. I don't know if that's necessarily yeah. true, but I think the sentiment's there. Uh, the look she gave me on the lift hill was just like, are you freaking kidding me right now? That is a fast lift hill, but it's not a launch. <laughs> it's not. A... Yeah. But you know what? Lightning Rod's open. I guess that's the good thing. The ride did feel a little bit slow. We, were, we sat in row eight, that was as far back as we could go. Um, did it feel a little slow to you, so? Yeah, a little bit, The yeah. first half was extremely, <laughs> felt extremely slow. Then it started to pick up speed as we went along. Yeah. Um, we do have the extra pass. The line is very long, but we were able to get on with our time saver. They, they did say they were going to slow it down for a little bit. Yeah, well, but. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't rough. I heard that it was getting rough. I didn't feel any roughness anywhere on the ride. Did you feel any roughness? Uh, there were little spots, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, I didn't think it was, I, I thought it was just fine. I was kind of worried that it was going to get rough, but it was fine. Yeah, I think we need to get that right another shot later on. We have that exit pass, hopefully. It can redeem itself, because right now, I don't think it's a top 10 ride anymore. There's Blazing Fury's line, spilling out the door. That's how you know it's a Saturday. We just got back row Tennessee Tornado. Yeah, that was something. That was an experience. Yeah. Of all the rides you've ridden, that was one of them. Was one of them. Um, I thought that was like, that was hauling. I don't remember that ride hauling that much. Like, did you gray out a little bit in the loops? No. I did, and I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, yeah, we got the back row, so yeah, we were, we were whipping through those things. And um, it was very short, yeah. very smooth. One thing I noticed this time around was on that loop, 
the, the track like tilts while you're going up and running that loop. That was that was weird. I don't think I've noticed that before. So fancy tornado, cool ride. Something you want to re-ride later? No. All right, okay. Bye, Tennessee tornado. Nice knowing you. Sophie, first time we rode this, lightning shut it down. Second time we rode this, the ride broke down. You do not have this credit. What, what, will, what will you do if this breaks down again? I will fall against the wall and cross. Okay. Pretty much she'll throw a tantrum, Amy style. Sophie, yeah. you did it. I did. This was her white whale. It was uh, a thunderstorm when we were right, right, right going to get on it last time, and then it broke down at the end of the night. But finally, she rode it. Finally, was it worth the wait? No, but I'm very, very happy I did get to ride it. Yes. So I mean, doesn't even, sometimes you have like a like your white whale like that. It doesn't even matter if it's good or not. You're just happy you got on it. I thought it was a little bit like bumpy, right? A little bit. It wasn't too bad, but uh, it's a Gerslauer, so what do you expect? Other than that, fun family ride. Big Bear's better. Wow. Enjoy your ride at home, see you back here in 222. Uh, this one, yeah. Oh. Okay, first off, shout out to Caden, uh, rocking those trains out really fast on Wild Eagle. Those, they're pretty much dispatching before the train gets back to the break run, which is awesome. Sophie, that was credit 299 and a half. Oh, yeah. That would have been your 300th credit had Mystery Mind not just completely fell, fell apart. Yeah. So, what'd you think? That was, that was really good, actually. It was yeah. really smooth. Probably the best ride I've ever had on Eagle, just in terms of the forces. Uh, didn't pinch me this time. Those vests always pinch my thighs. Not this time. And um, very smooth too. We were in the second to back row. I gave her the inside seat. Outside seat. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it was not rough. So uh, that would have been a good 300. But uh, we'll settle for mystery mine. Meanwhile, in Amy land. So Wildwood Grove has gotten so big, it's almost like hard to imagine this park without it. And that's how it was just a few years ago. So the girls are playing in there. We were gonna we we're gonna catch the bubble show, but we'll have to wait for that because Amy's having way too much fun in the water. So for now, they're playing. I'm gonna go test ride Thunderhead, see if it's soapy appropriate. I heard it's smooth. Um, I'll be the judge of that. I just test rode Thunderhead and it does get my stamp of approval. That was one of my favorite rides that I've gotten on it, probably since the first ride I've ridden it. Very smooth. Um, they definitely fixed both halves. So the, the first time I rode it like, a couple years ago, man, the first half it was just horrifyingly rough. And now, the whole thing's pretty smooth. The second half is smoother than the first half, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take Sophie on this one when she's ready. But um, yeah, good on Dollywood for fixing this thing. Amy, where are you going to ride? Ride the bears? Okay. Sophie, Wildwood Grove, you a fan? Yeah. You guys fans of Wildwood Grove too? Yes. How's Dollywood? Best park in the country? Probably, yeah. I might, might be. Sophie, what do you think? Better than Bush Gardens? Yes, I think so. Okay. I don't think so. Amy just picked up her 11th coaster credit. Amy, you give Whistle Punk Chaser a thumbs up? Thumbs up, all right. Uh, hi. 
this would be very interesting to see. Wow. It's a busy day, but the longest line of the day by far. The line for cinnamon bread. All right, cinnamon bread all for me. None for Sophie. Alright, Sophie, we, we rode uh, Wild Eagle, what, like four hours ago? Yep. Since then, we've been playing in Wildwood Grove, been riding Amy rides, watching bubble shows. Um, so, you're stuck on 299 and a half. Yep. Are you finally ready to get that last one? Yes. That definitely. last half a ride. So, Mystery Mine has broken down twice today when we were thinking about riding it. I don't know if it's open right now. We're gonna find out. And if it's not, then. We might be in trouble. I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah. Sophie, this guy, he thought he had us. He thought he could fool us by giving us half a ride. <laughs> So we got it. Yep. So when I remember the first time I rode Lightning Rod, uh, I was like just begging the train to get over the lift hill, and then nothing else mattered after that. I felt the same way getting over that second lift hill on Mystery Mine in the Sophie. Yep. Because that's where we got stuck last time, and I said, as long as we get over that hill, we're good. And Sophie just got her 300th coaster. How was it? I was expecting a lot more. On the finale? Yeah. Yeah, it's a short finale, but it's a good one. Um, we got rewarded by all of our efforts by getting hit in the head with change yep. on the finale. We both got hit in the head with yeah, coins. I was hearing it the whole ride. Yeah, yeah, me too. I and and then it came, it came flying, it came flying out and hit us both in the head. It got us both somehow. So yeah. Mystery Mind has been messing with us all day. Got one last shot in on us, but you know what? It doesn't matter because Sophie got 300. Yep. Each year, you 2022, you got 100 at Sesame Place. 2023. Leviathan, and now 2024, we got this guy right here. We didn't think it was going to be Mystery Mine, but it's too good of a story. We always look back on this day and remember the 300th coaster was the one that we got stuck on and had to rewrite later. So, Sophie, congratulations. Thank you. Amy, what is this? Is this your, kind of tea, your tea party? These are your friends? Sophie, how long has your sister been playing with the sprinklers? <laughs> I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I think it's been more like an hour. Alright, so Sophie's not feeling so great, so she's gonna skip out the last couple rides. No Thunderhead, no Barnstormer, and no Lightning Rod for her. But I will do Lightning Rod one more time. Still got that extra pass I got from getting stuck on Mystery Mine, so. I'm gonna give it one more shot, see if it's running a little faster now, and uh, hopefully it's a little better now. Well, I just got round two on lightning rod. I got back row this time, so I got the full experience. And um, it was very similar to the first one. I. The roughness was a lot worse in the back, especially, the only part was a problem was after the wave turn, before the first twist and shout. It really got Jack Hemery there, and um, that first twist and shout just pretty much offers like no air time, which is really unfortunate because it's uh, one of the you know, key parts of the ride. But uh, by the time it hits the second one, then you're getting tossed out of your seat. So it just seems like the first half just runs really slow, and then it really picks up the second twist and shout, and then the big camelback before the quad down. Those are pretty solid. But by, by that time, the ride's almost over. So it's kind of like you're missing out on that whole first half. So did the chain cause that? Or is it just because the ride's aging? I don't know. But in the end, Lightning Rod is still a really fun ride. But is it gonna be in my top 10 come year end when I do my final rankings? Not a chance.
we left here two years ago and Sophie took a huge step by riding Lightning Rod. That kind of unlocked her from riding all these other coasters. And wouldn't you know, two years later, we're back right here and Sophie gets her 300th credit. Mystery mine. Took a lot, yep. but we got it. Sophie, good day at Dollywood? Yeah. Well, good day for all around. Um, pretty crowded, but we managed and got everything done. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.